Do you remember learning about how the tongue perceives taste? Or maybe you've seen a taste map that looks like this. This diagram illustrates how the tongue is neatly cornered off into sections that sense different foods. Sweet in the front, salty and sour on the sides, and bitter at the back. While this image is easy to understand and has been taught to children in classrooms for decades, it is false. This concept is purely a neuromyth. The tongue does not have different regions specialized for different tastes. A neuromyth is a commonly held false belief about how the brain and nervous system functions. This neuromyth first came about in Germany, 1901. Scientist David Honey set out to measure the thresholds for taste perception around the edges of the tongue by dripping stimuli corresponding to salty, sweet, sour, and bitter tastes and in intervals around the edges of the tongue. What he found was that there was a difference in how different areas of the tongue detected these individual sensations. For example, taste buds at the tip of the tongue were more sensitive to sweetness. In the 1940s, Edwin Boring redrew the figure for his book, but unfortunately misunderstood Honey's findings and oversimplified the graphic. See, the artistic representation of the experiment made it look as though different parts of the tongue were responsible for different tastes, rather than showing that some parts of the tongue were slightly more sensitive to certain tastes than others. While some researchers disagreed with Hani over the years, this oversimplified diagram made its way into classrooms and textbooks because it's easy to understand. Teachers thought that it provided an efficient way to demonstrate how taste works without really needing to dive into the neurological and cellular connections. This neuromyth was greatly disputed by the scientific community throughout the 1900s, and some notable researchers found compelling data contradicting the notorious graphic. But first, let's take a minute to look at the biology of taste. Taste buds like these are the parts of the tongue that detect taste. Each person has about five to 10,000 scattered throughout their tongue and the inside of their mouth. And they usually look like this. Each taste bud contains about 50 to 100 specialized sensory cells that detect taste stimuli. When we eat or drink, the chemicals inside the food come in contact with these specialized cells via cell receptor proteins on taste receptor cells. These chemicals cause the cells to release neural signals to the brain to be processed, telling you how that food tastes. In 1965, an interesting discovery occurred. A surgery patient had a nerve cut that should have stopped all taste from being perceived in the front of the mouth, where the so-called sweetness center of the tongue is, and yet the patient reported absolutely no loss of taste overall. In fact, the patient could perceive sweetness even stronger. This led doctors to confirm that taste buds all over the tongue have receptors for each of the taste categories. It just so happens that there are more sugar specialized cells in the front of the tongue and so on. Neuromyths are dangerous because they perpetuate a false understanding of scientific facts. Today's society is hypersensitive to the possible catastrophic consequences of promoting false information. It is important now more than ever to fact check yourself before sharing information and always question the credibility of what you learn, even in the classroom. And if you ever want to debunk this neuromyth for yourself, grab some cake, popcorn, and coffee to test how your own taste buds work.